Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialist in SharePoint. In this video we are going to see how we can develop a application customizer uh, in SharePoint framework. So we will also try to understand what is SharePoint framework extensions. I hope you have gone through my previous videos where I have explained uh, how you can set up a development environment for SPFX and also I have shown how we can uh, develop a web part client side web part using SPFX or using the SharePoint framework so if you have not gone through I'll put the links in the uh, video description have a look at that so now let us understand first of all what is a SharePoint framework extension so by using this SPFX extension we can extend the user experience within the modern pages and the SharePoint document libraries. So we can basically customize the SharePoint not notification area, the toolbar, uh, the list data views using this SPFX extensions. So there are uh, three types of extensions are there uh, that we can develop. One is application customizer, the other one is field customizer and then command set. So the, by using this application customizer, we can add script, we can access the HTML elements, the placeholders like header and footer, and then we can extend those uh, by using our uh, those placeholders by using the uh, uh, using our HTML code. And also we uh, and then the field customizer by using this uh, field customizer, we can modify the list views. In the future videos, we will see uh, each and every example. And in the command set, uh, we can add new accents uh, with our client set code into this, um, into a uh, list view. So now um, we can create all these customizer applications or uh, this SPFX customizers uh, or SPX, SPFX extensions. Um, here we will see how we can uh, develop a application customizer. But before that, you can actually create application customizers using plain JavaScript. You can use AngularJS, you can use ReactJS, even you can use uh, React uh, with uh, Fluent UI uh, for uh, the similar user experience with uh, Microsoft 365 or Office 365. So now let us see how we can uh, develop uh, a application customizer. So we will just see a hello world application over there. We will just display alert message on that. Um, we'll not change the code, but we'll see how we can deploy and how we can see these uh, things working. So I'll open the Node.js command prompt. Um, once you install or configure, you will see the Node.js command prompt. I usually use this Node.js Node command prompt and I have a folder in the E drive. So I'll go to the E drive and uh, then there's a folder over here. So there's a folder YouTube SPFX and within that we are keeping everything. So I'll just navigate to this folder. So YouTube SPFX. And then within that, we will first create a folder uh, for uh, uh, for these things. So I will create a um, application customizer based on that. I'll create a folder here. So I'll uh, create MD. I'll run the command MD, suppose application um, customizer demo and uh, I will do the same thing here CD I'll navigate to this directory basically so cost and then demo so once in this folder we will run our human serpent generator so you are the rate Microsoft slash SharePoint. So this is the same thing that we are running the same command which you usually run while creating a client side web part. So the same thing that we are doing here. Now once you do this then it will ask you what will be the solution name if you want to keep it you can just say yes and then we are doing for SharePoint only online only and then we'll use the current folder and then here it will ask uh, just say no no here and uh, then here is the uh, thing so in this case we are going to develop a extension so that's the reason i will just use the uh, arrow key and then i'll select extension and then i'll click on enter so once you click on enter then it will ask you 
which kind of extension or what is the type that you want to develop so in this case we'll use application customizer so i'll just select enter and then it is asking what will be the name so you can give any name for this i will say uh, application customizer demo web part and then the description um, and then once you click on enter it will take, take some time and it will uh, make ready the entire project or the solution where there will be a lot of folders and then uh, our entire app, our solution will be there so you can see here still it is going on so uh, meanwhile let me tell you i have a sharepoint framework uh, development course uh, for the developers and uh, you can i'll put the url in the uh, description of this particular video you can see there are uh, 10 modules on that and then if you are interested you can enroll for this you will get lifetime access and then a lot of free uh, lot of a lot more videos will come also on this and then i'm keep on updating this uh, course entirely so you can enroll if you are interested for this so now let me just check it is still going on so let's give some time so now you can see here uh, it is uh, created so what we will do now here is i'll try to open this solution using visual studio code so i'll just type code you can see here i will just type code and then space dot so which will open in visual studio code the entire solution and here if you'll see if i will expand this source folder then extensions this is the file let me just expand so you can see here there is a .ts file and if i look at this ts file there is an interface which is which is having one property and uh, we are displaying this message over here you can see here and uh, we are displaying the message here so this is just a dialog alert we are displaying here now on this uh, what we will do is unlike our sharepoint client side web parts where you will deploy and then uh, you can you, you can open the local workbench and see this but here we will not be able to do that so in case of uh, extensions we have to provide the sharepoint online site url so before going to that file let me just tell you one more important file if you'll see here uh, the J json file also is there if you'll click on that you can see uh, the id and then uh, this is the alias and apart from that the component type and the extension so if you'll see here we have created the application extension uh, and then application customizer and then you can see the extension type here then uh, so to debug this basically what we have to do is and one more thing let me show you so if you'll see here uh, this is a uh, uh, you can see here there is a value that we are taking uh, from this dot properties the text message and uh, this is the property and if i will go to the location and then in this file you can see here there is a title that uh, that is setting up here so this is the default title that uh, we can set a, uh, we are setting up and then we are using that um, now what we will do is I we will see how we can uh, you know debug it how we can see it what is happening or not so if you will actually look at uh, this uh, this file config and then uh, server dot json file in this file if you will see here the a page URL is there in this property you can see here and here what we can do is uh, we will be able to change it or we will we'll have to give the SharePoint site URL or any page URL. So if I will open my SharePoint site, so if you'll see here, this is my SharePoint site URL. If I will uh, go to the pages library, we can see even the page URL. So we, we let's say this is a application customizer uh, example page here. I will just copy this URL and then I will go back to the JSON file and I'll modify over here. So I'll go here. I'll modify in both the places here. Now once you uh, put this then we are done. We now we can locally uh, do it. Locally you can test it. So I'll open again my uh, command prompt here and here I will run the gulp serve here. Now gulp serve now once you run this it will now open the sharepoint 
online site url so if you'll actually look at this now this is our sharepoint page url which we provided in the json file now here uh, we know that we want to debug with the script so you can click on load debug script and once you put that you can see here there's a message it is coming and uh, this is what is uh, the message that it was supposed to come because we have put that default message over here so click on ok now this is one part where you can see you can debug you can uh, do this in the local uh, on on this one uh, if i will actually if i will now stop it for example i will say Control c and i'll stop it and uh, now if i will try to refresh it or i'll refresh this page um, you will not be able to see this because we have actually stopped our local you can see here loading the script so that is not there because it's local it's, it's not running so now uh, we will see how we can deploy it so how we can deploy it is um, so basically first thing is we saw how we can develop it next we will see how we can deploy the spfx application customizer now on this uh, let me just close it now what i'll do is so this is the command that is available uh, to to run so the commands are uh, you know uh, the same command that we use for the sharepoint client side web part deployment so the same command we are using here so what is the command that we will use first thing is we will uh, run a um, gulp surf uh, um, sorry we will first uh, uh, run the gulp build command but remember if you if you are doing this for the first time then we have to run the gulp certificate command so the command is uh, gulp trust hyphen dev hyphen say crt so certificate that command we have to use but if you have already developed like here i have already developed so i don't need it you can run it but ideally i don't need this so now i will directly run the gulp uh, uh, build command so it will build the um, solution and once our build will be successful then we will bundle it so by using the gulp bundle and then you can see here gulp bundle hyphen hyphen zip so once you do this now next thing is once the bundle will over now we will package the solution so that we will get the spp.kg file which we can upload to our app catalog site so i will run the command gulp then package hyphen solution and then hyphen hyphen zip so once you run this command it will create the package file and you can see here it is done now so our package file is ready now so the package file is there on this folder if you'll see here there is a sharepoint folder solution folder you can see here our app custom demo package is there so i'll just right click and i'll say rebuild in file explorer you can see here this is the package file now we need to upload this package file to the app catalog site if you have not created app catalog site you can create app catalog site i'll put the url in the description you can have a look at this so in my sharepoint this is my sharepoint online app catalog site i will go here and then you can see here apps for sharepoint click on that and on this i will basically uh, drag this file so when you will drag this file it will show you that you want to deploy it click on deploy and uh, now you can see here the solution got deployed so once it is deployed now i can go to uh, any sharepoint site in my site collection i will go and we need to add the solution to this particular site so what i'll do is on this particular site go to the settings icon then click on uh, add an app and from here you can see here this is the client side solution app custom demo client side solution that we um, we we have developed click on that and then once you click on that you can see here it is adding so it will just take a couple of seconds before it add completely so you can see here uh, our application customizer this web part is there in this site if i will just refresh it uh, we should be able to see the alert message you can see here it is coming you can go to the home page you will be able to see uh, the alerts as well so uh, that means uh, this is how we can develop our application customizers and we can deploy to sharepoint online sites if you like the videos kindly subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you can get update on the video tutorials that we upload in this site 
you will get videos on office 365 sharepoint azure micros uh, uh, power apps power bi flu all these technologies videos you will get and this is your website keep visiting these are the twitter handles do follow us and linkedin and facebook pages to join us so thank you and have a nice day